Chapter 6 Tissues Introduction From the last chapter, we recall that all living organisms are made of cells. In unicellular organisms, a single cell performs all basic functions. For example, in amoeba, a single cell carries out movement, intake of food and respiratory gases, respiration and excretion. But in multicellular organisms there are millions of cells. Most of these cells are specialized to carry out a few functions. Each specialized function is taken up by a different group of cells. Since these cells carry out only a particular function, they do it very efficiently. In human beings, muscle cells contract and relax to cause movement, nerve cells carry messages, blood flows to transport oxygen, food, hormones and waste material and so on. In plants, vascular tissues conduct food and water from one part of the plant to other parts. So, multicellular organisms show division of labor. Cells specializing in one function are often grouped together in the body. This means that a particular function is carried out by a cluster of cells at a definite place in the body. This cluster of cells, called a tissue, is arranged and designed so as to give the highest possible efficiencies of function. Blood, phloem and muscle are all examples of tissues. A group of cells that are similar in structure and or work together to achieve a particular function forms a tissue. Now, can you try to answer the following questions? With reference to life processes, how are unicellular organisms different from multicellular organisms? Explain the concept of division of labor in multicellular organisms. What is meant by a tissue? Give examples.